Ever wondered how the story of India began? Let's take a step back in time over 4,000 years ago, to the fertile plains of the Indus Valley. Here thrived one of the world's earliest urban civilizations, the Harappans. Their cities boasted advanced urban planning, intricate seals, and a mysterious script, the meaning of which eludes us even today. As the Harappan civilization faded, the torch was passed to the Mauryan Empire. Under the leadership of Chandragupta Maurya and his illustrious grandson Ashoka, India witnessed a significant transformation. Buddhism spread across the land, and Ashoka's rock edicts became a testament to his profound commitment to peace and welfare. As the Mauryan Empire waned, another power rose to prominence. The Gupta Empire, often referred to as the Golden Age of Indian history, took the reins. This era was a crucible of creativity, birthing groundbreaking contributions in art, science, and literature. And so, the dawn of civilization in India was illuminated by the brilliance of its people. Change was on the horizon as the Delhi Sultanate marked a new era in India's history. As the Islamic influence made its way into the Indian subcontinent, it brought along a wave of architectural innovation. The grandeur of this era was epitomized by the towering Qutub Minar, a testament to the Delhi Sultanate's architectural prowess. But the Islamic influence was not confined to grand structures alone. A fascinating synthesis occurred, intertwining Hindu and Islamic cultures. This harmonious blend laid the groundwork for a vibrant cultural mosaic that would define the Indian ethos for centuries to come. Meanwhile, in the Deccan, the Vijayanagara and Bamani kingdoms were making their mark. As they flourished, they showcased a unique fusion of Dravidian and Islamic architectural styles. The cultural richness of this era echoed through the ornate temples of Hampi, standing as silent witnesses to the passage of time. Next, India was set to witness the rise of a dynasty that would leave a lasting imprint. The stage was set for the arrival of the Mughals, beginning with Babur's conquest. In 1526, this Central Asian dynasty took root in India, launching an era that would leave an indelible mark on the subcontinent's history. Babur's grandson, the dynamic Akbar, ascended the throne in 1556. Akbar's reign was a golden epic, renowned for its tolerance and innovative policies. He implemented a system of administration that respected the diverse fabric of Indian society and championed a syncretic culture known as Dini Ilahi, or Faith of the Divine. Under Shah Jahan, the Mughal Empire reached its architectural zenith. His love for his wife Mumtaz Mahal gave us the Taj Mahal, an epitome of Mughal architecture and a symbol of eternal love. The Mughal Empire, however, was not without its share of challenges. When Aurangzeb ascended the throne in 1658, his rigid policies and religious intolerance led to widespread discontent and rebellion. The empire began to crumble, creating a power vacuum that allowed regional powers to emerge and flourish. Yet the Mughal era left an indelible imprint on India's cultural, architectural and administrative landscape. From the majestic forts and mausoleums to the intricate miniature paintings and the rich courtly culture, the echoes of the Mughal legacy can still be felt today. However, another power was looming on the horizon, ready to change India's fate. The arrival of the East India Company marked a significant shift in India's historical narrative. This was the dawn of British colonial rule, a period that would leave an indelible imprint on the fabric of India. The British, driven by their insatiable thirst for resources, exploited the vast riches of the subcontinent, draining it of its wealth. The impact on the Indian economy was profound. The once prosperous nation was reduced to a state of poverty and economic dependence. The introduction of the Zamindari system, the rapid industrialization of Britain at the expense of Indian industries, and the transformation of agriculture into a cash crop economy led to widespread suffering and discontent among the populace. In 1857, this simmering resentment burst forth in the form of the Sepoys Rebellion. This widespread uprising, albeit unsuccessful, was a stark demonstration of the growing Indian resistance to British rule. It was a catalyst, sparking off a series of revolts and rebellions across the country. The aftermath of the rebellion saw the dissolution of the East India Company and the establishment of direct British control over India. This period was characterized by a systematic attempt to reshape India in the image of Britain, with English education, law, and administration being imposed. Yet, the spirit of resistance was far from quelled. Leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and countless others spearheaded a tireless struggle for independence. 
their non-violent resistance, civil disobedience, and unwavering determination became the beacon of hope for a nation yearning for freedom. In 1947, India finally broke the chains of colonial rule, stepping into a new era. With the dawn of independence, India faced new challenges and opportunities. The partition of 1947, a painful chapter in India's history, resulted in one of the largest mass migrations in the world. The aftermath saw India and Pakistan grappling with communal tensions, refugee crises, and the task of nation-building. However, India rose from these trials, forging a new identity as a sovereign nation. On January 26, 1950, India adopted a new constitution, marking the birth of the Republic of India. With a commitment to democracy, secularism and social justice, India embarked on a journey to shape its destiny. The next few decades witnessed a series of economic reforms aimed at transforming India into a self-reliant nation. Landmark reforms in the 1990s liberalized the Indian economy, paving the way for a new era of growth and development. Leaders like Indira Gandhi and Manmohan Singh played pivotal roles during these transformative years. Modern India has witnessed remarkable developments that underscore its resilience. The information technology boom of the late 20th century positioned India as a global player in the digital age. Indian IT companies are now recognized worldwide, contributing significantly to the nation's economic growth. India's strides in space exploration have also been commendable. From launching small satellites to undertaking interplanetary missions, the Indian Space Research Organization has made significant contributions to space science, showcasing India's scientific prowess on the global stage. Moreover, India's vibrant democracy with its free and fair elections, robust judiciary and a thriving civil society stands as a testament to its democratic resilience. Despite the many challenges, India's commitment to upholding democratic values remains unwavering. From ancient civilizations to the present day, India's history is a tale of resilience, diversity, and cultural vibrancy. This is the extraordinary story of a land that continues to evolve, leaving an indelible mark on the pages of human history. The journey of India, from its ancient civilizations to its modern avatar, is a testament to its enduring spirit. A land of incredible diversity, India's story continues to unfold, charting a unique path in the annals of world history.